Welcome back, and welcome to those who are just now seeing this for the first time. Thank you for clicking on the button, the thumbnail, whatever brought you here. It actually could be this recent IG post that I put somewhere. No, but it's an ad. Let's make this brief. First and foremost, the Teespring store is live. I don't think I made that too clear the last video, but my first set of designs are up and available for purchase. So if you want, you can make your way over to the link right now. Go ahead. Wait, 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 hold on, my bad. Before we get into that. All right, so now that I've created my Teespring account, backstory for those who have yet to go and watch the previous videos, um, I made a Teespring account and I've recorded all of the steps that I've done to this point. I didn't really, really need five episodes for this. I could have just said all that and just placed, posted this first video. Anyway, so now that I've created my Teespring account and become a multi-million dollar success. No, really, this is just for me to provide any form of understanding as if any is needed to opening a Teespring account. Now, I know my last episode covered pretty much the steps that I took to create the account and storefront itself, but there are some things that I wanna nitpick and cover that weren't completely shown in the previous video and also aren't really covered on the Teespring website himself. Um, even on YouTube when I went looking for a little bit more commentary about creating and using the page itself. So I'm going to do a brief yet opinionated, opinionated, stupid. I'm going to do a brief yet opinionated review of the creation process on Teespring itself. All right, back to the desk. So the basic steps are as follows. You've created the account, option to create and sell, chose the version of the seller you want to be identified as, named your store, and then reach the storefront page. Make sure before you do all this, you may want to beautify your storefront, uh, add the banner, name the store, collect all the logos and designs that you're going to use, unless you're going to create them on the Teespring designer itself, figure out pricing for each one of the items, all of the things. I'll actually put in the comment section of this video of what to be ready for ahead of creating your first product. If not, I would say head back to the back to dashboard option in the bottom left hand corner and hold off for a little bit. Yet if you're ready or you just want to throw something up there for practice, follow me. All right, so starting with step one, choose your first product, whether it be apparel, home items or accessories. For the example before you, we'll go with the apparel, only thing I've created so far. So let's choose the style of the product that I want based on the fit. Step number two, after choosing, you get to design or upload the image that you want to add to the product. You could design from a created logo you've made previous or build one from scratch in a designer. Afterwards, go ahead and resize to your liking. Step three, choose the colors for this item, which will vary based on the color of the logo. As a heads up, you are only able to upload one logo color Per product. This means if you have a black version of your logo and then another color, white version of your logo of the same design, these will upload as two different completely separate products, which you may see might be an issue when it comes to naming later on. Step four, choose a price point for your profit of the item and then hit continue. Step five. Now this is where you choose to bundle additional products, you have sweaters, tank tops, uh, smaller accessories under the single product name, which helps later on with consistent logo sizing and description tagging. This part though will bundle all of the products under a single item name, which is something else you might want to look out for. And lastly, step six. The listing will need some words. So you have a launch title, an item description, and specifically a URL so that this item is searchable. You can also choose which color or which side of the product will be the first image buyers see when they see a link to the merch. Now, if you're adding a product to the current listing, you will wanna click add to existing listing tab 
and make sure you've written down the URL specific to how it is written already. Once complete, hit publish listing and you're done. And complete. The shirt will now post and show you how it looks once live on the site. From here, it will display any and everything you created with it in this one procedure and you're good to go. So, completed. Which one should I go over first? We have the pros or the cons. Give me a second. So, cons, things that Teespring so happens to forget to tell you. You can't edit the design, the size, price, or color options after you've already created the item. You can only edit the words, the description, listing title, and tags. I mean, what if I get a change of heart on how much I wanna charge somebody for an item? You have to go to the duplicate settings option and recreate the item from scratch, at which point you may have lost the URL, so make sure you plan accordingly. If you choose to have multiple items under apparel, all the product revenue is under that single product launch, which means you can't remove a single item if you don't see it producing or being as profitable as you wanted it to be. You would have to go ahead and delete the entire listing. If somebody from Teespring watches this or somebody else more knowledgeable, please reach out to me and let me know so I can put that in the comments. The storefront isn't as customizable as I wanted it to be, Personally, granted, this is for free. This is no overhead that I need to worry about, but sometimes because of my design background, I might want to change some things and there's not too much I can change. I've seen a few edited shops, but I have yet to hear anything back from those who know how to do that. The pros, good things about it. It's easy. A lot of it is point and click and anyone with a background in design, actually anyone, can simply create anything post and sell it. It can be a word, it can be a meme, it can be whatever. And they assist with the hosting and the printing and the delivery. You can make a number of storefronts. If you have different ideas regarding brands, try your hand at multiple storefronts and keep up with the one that makes you most profitable. You can integrate via a few channels. Currently, YouTube and Twitch are the main ones. So if you have a small following, you can easily go ahead, upload a design, and run merch off of your channel itself. And then link it directly to whatever site you use. And the dashboard is relatively easy, understandable, um, detailed enough that you can get as much metrics that you need for your stores and your designs and showing you what sells best and also how you can sell it better. All right, that's all the free promotion Teespring gets. I just wanted to get that off my chest, vent a little bit on how the creation process was, but it's not really that hard if you organize and plan it out accordingly. I hope they change a few of the quirks and cons that I felt personally they have at this moment. According to previous videos, it looks like they've changed and come a long way. So it looks pretty good right now. You know what, just to verify, I think I need to order at least like one sample just so I can see what it looks like in person. Done. All right, quick enough. No, I'm playing. This was actually ordered ahead of time just for this video. It took a little bit longer, um, about like a week and a half for the order to get here. And this is just a sample. It looks all right, it, it looks good. I'm playing white t-shirt with pretty much, as I stated, the logo right here in the middle. It works for what I'm trying to do right now and just kind of train and help others. Anyway, in the meantime, the site is live. Uh, you can take a look at it, critique, see what I uploaded and how I uploaded, um, how I organized certain products and follow that if it helps. If anything, hit me in the comments below and I'll try and assist any more than I can. But anyways, Appreciate you watching. Thank you for being here. And y'all will see me in the next one. Create and be great.